guys so today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips that I'm trying to incorporate into my life that I think can really change my life in 2018 so the first one is doing one thing at a time so I notice that I tend to multitask a lot I'll try to edit a video while doing homework and texting my friends and I just do not focus well enough because your brain isn't meant to be constantly switching tasks every five seconds and so studies have shown that focusing on one thing at a time is actually more efficient and I really want to do this because I think just committing to one activity and getting that activity done and then moving on to the next one is a lot better than trying to do three at once and not really being able to focus on any of them because I get super overwhelmed so this is definitely something that I really want to do and I think can help you a lot in your life. My next tip is to unplug from social media and technology. Studies have shown that young adults spend an average of five hours a day either on their laptops or their phones or TVs or gaming systems, anything like that. So I have really been trying to unplug and this has helped tremendously. I've noticed that my sense of time has changed a lot because I really realized how much time I really have in the day now that I'm not on my phone all the time and I think this can really help decrease that sense of running out of time and I just think lives are not meant to be lived through a screen. So I really encourage you guys to try this out and see if it works for you. My next tip is to get active and work out and this does not have to mean going to the gym. I've been going to the gym five days a week lately just because I wanted to really work on my personal fitness this year but the reason I included this tip is not really for the physical appearance of my body. It's really for mental health and just overall sense of well-being in my life and it doesn't have to be a super intense workout it can just be a walk or going to do some yoga but i really think that this is such a great thing to incorporate into your daily life and it is something that i'm trying really hard to do a lot in 2018. My next tip is to read more books and write things down. So I kind of have an obsession with journals. I have so many journals and I've really been trying to write in them, whether it's creative ideas or to-do lists, uh, planning. I love planning, as you guys know, but I limit myself to just the monthly layout because I think it's simpler and it helps me from planning too much. But uh, aside from that, I want to read more this year. So I used to read so much when I was growing up. I would go to the library in the summer and check out 10 books and read them in like three days. And it's just really fun and I miss doing that. So over this winter break, I've been reading all of my old books and it's just been a great time. I really like fictional books, but lately I've also been really liking self-help books and motivational inspiration books. I like Christian books as well. Um, Lisa Turkus is one of my favorite authors for that. I also really like books about other cultures, but as a whole, I just think reading is such an amazing thing. And I always used to say to myself that I didn't have enough time to read books. And now I know that I totally have enough time to read books in the day. Reading is gonna be one of my biggest things that I do this year, I think. In addition to that, I think journaling can also be a really great activity. I think our brains can get so full of the day-to-day -day and writing things down can help us organize our thoughts and just kind of clear our minds. So my next tip is to spend time outside and check out occasionally. I learned this from a book that I was reading, um, but just having fresh air and time outdoors can really make you get a sense of the world around you and honestly nature is so beautiful it sounds cheesy but it's so beautiful and whether it's just a river or a lake or a little hiking trail near you um, I love to go out when the weather's nice uh, with Gavin and just have a good time I really like these next two tips. They were inspired by a book that I'm reading, but it's basically just about how instant gratification is not the best thing. Um, in today's society, everything's about getting it now and it's on sale so you can get it right now. It'll ship in two days, stuff like that. But I just basically wanted to encourage you guys that if there's something that you want, whether it's an experience or a material item, though experiences have been proven to actually cause more happiness in the long run, but whatever it is that you want, enjoying the wait for it can actually be a good thing that makes it all that much sweeter when you finally get it um, and being bored as well. So next time you're on a car ride that's super boring or you're waiting to get to that destination, just know that being bored is actually good for your brain because it promotes creativity. But other than that, it's just kind of enjoying the journey and that's kind of a corny line, but I think that um, it's so true. 
My next habit is to eat simpler and cleaner. So I am really trying to incorporate this into my lifestyle this year as a lot of people are. But my mindset about it is just that food is fuel and I want to put things in my body that are going to give me energy and that are going to make me feel good. And I freaking love Chick-fil-A and Taco Bell and queso and stuff like that. But I just know when I'm eating those foods that they aren't going to make me feel good later so it's not really about I have to eat healthy because I want to look a certain way um, but it's really just about knowing that hey I can eat this unhealthy food but I also might not feel good after it and that's okay but I just know what kind of foods are actually going to make me feel good. I wanted to put this one on here because I think that it is super important for this year for me. Um, I want to redefine the term being successful. Uh, I just don't want to define my life and my success based on how much money I have or where I work or how many subscribers I have on YouTube or how many likes I get on Instagram. That doesn't matter to me at the end of the day. So I think a good thing to do is to write down what is most important to you in this life that you actually want to base your success in life off of so uh this is my list yours is going to be different than mine but i think this is a really great thing to do just to kind of refocus yourself and give yourself perspective when things happen that you're not happy about wanted to say this one uh just to the camera because i feel like it's really important and i also couldn't think of ways to show what I'm about to say. Worrying about things like a bad test grade or waking up late or being late for an appointment or bad traffic or you gained a few pounds or you had a bad interaction with someone at Starbucks or anything like that. Those things are not defining moments of your life. Anytime that I'm having a negative thought about something that comes along throughout my day, I'm going to try to turn that around into something that I can be grateful for. There's times where I am frustrated because I wanna be seeing results at the gym, but I should be grateful that I even have legs and arms that are able and ready to work out whenever I ask my body to do that. And just that I'm healthy and that I have people in my life that I care about. And so I just, that one to me is so important because I know that I'm such a worrying and anxious person, but if you can you know, do anything to change those thoughts around and to just turn it into something that you can be grateful for, I feel like that'll change your life, I really do. And I'll link an article below that inspired um, this particular point um, down below. My last tip for this video is to live in the moment. This is something that I am gonna try so hard to do this year. Um, obviously I am showing you stuff that I recorded on a camera, but I want to have a lot of memories that I don't even worry about vlogging and I think that I love to vlog, I love to document my memories because I think that is a beautiful thing to be able to look back on, but I do want to have a lot of memories this year that I just leave my camera at home or my phone at home and I just go out and the memory I have of that trip is all in my head and that's going to be perfectly fine with me, so I think that that is a really great thing to end off this video with. Um, I really hope you guys liked this video. Um, it was kind of a random idea that I had in my head and I just wanted to put it out there and see if you guys liked it. Let me know if you guys would want videos like this or about other topics but sort of in this similar style. Um, I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.